So it's me, Nelka, again. I'm back because I decided after doing the calculation for um, artificial lighting, I would like to do the day lighting calculation now. So let's close this one now and go to the plan view because we remember we found out that it has window and maybe we can do a daylighting calculation also for this staircase. <clears throat> so uh, first, <clears throat> let's go to the that um, story tab and then let's create our window. So go to your construction tab and go to your apertures and select um, a window design. So let's go and select simple window design, this one. And then click the draw new building opening and run like this. Let's say yes, it's going to be invalid and skip. And then let's say, uh, let's check this is dimension is 2.551, height is 150. So let's go and see it in our elevation. So because it's a three story building, we need to go and uh, check this one. So let's move this one and adjust it according to the level of the floor. Yep, okay. And can we make it two meters high? All right, and then let's just copy the same for the other area. And can we place it like this here in the 3D? Oh, now it's possible. Okay. Press the skip tab. And then let's move it up. Go to the side view or elevation view to properly place it. Then go to the plan view to properly place it again. And now we have two windows. And do we need to create one more maybe? No, it will be up to the top. <clears throat> okay, let's just create one more. Okay, <clears throat> just place it and then select it and move it up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's go to the plan view and place it accordingly. All right. <clears throat> um, can we make it down a little? This one also. Okay, I'm just randomly lowering it down. Or actually, I can create a one full store window. Yeah, I think that's much better. But um, I remember it's a three-story building, so there's there will be a slab or beam on this side. So I think this is fine. Okay, let's just make it precise. This is one meter. This is going to be yeah, <clears throat> four meters. This is going to be six meters. Oh, sorry, seven meters. There you go. <clears throat> okay, so I now have uh, windows. And after creating the windows, we will need to create the looks ugly because see the landing can be fully seen here okay I let's I think we need to adjust the the windows okay so let's continue now and adjust this window go to the side view <clears throat> and adjust the window here so let's say it's 1.5 that's perfect this one, let's move it like this. Say this is 4.75 or 4.7, maybe correct. And this one, <clears throat> let's let's just make our uh, building height as <clears throat> 10 meters. Oh, let's move our window up to here. Okay, let's check the location, <clears throat> positioning. Say it's 9 meters. It's 8.9. All right, <clears throat> so let's go to the 3D and check. Ooh, what happened? Why this one is here? Did I change it? Oh my god. Let's 
move it up again. Yes. Alright, so <clears throat> our staircase windows are now um, established. And let's create our daylighting scenes. So we'll have it. Can we copy it also here? Okay, so it's here now. So let's go to the um, lights and go to the light scenes. And let's create empty light scenes. Okay, and then this empty light scenes, let's label it daylighting. Enter. And then press the clear sky and let's make the timing as okay that was June 16 okay this is fine let's make the timing as <clears throat> 3 p.m. let's move it down 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 oh this is a.m. so let's make it 3 p.m. or 2 p.m. okay so June 16 2007 2 p.m. <clears throat> And then, so, let's calculate it now. Disregard first the uh, artificial lighting. And let's run the daylighting calculation. Okay, it's done. So, let's take a look. The result here, it says now we have calculation surface 74 lux, 20. 60 lakhs and 61 lakhs and wow this is 804 lakhs let's go to the 3d inside and see how it looks oh my god this is totally amazing look this is 804 lakhs this is 100 804 lakhs also this one is 64 <clears throat> and this one is okay 20 this um diagonal is 400 and the other one on the other side is only 74 lux so this is now your daylighting calculation for the staircase overall I would say um, this there is enough light for this uh, staircase but we know uh, we know that the size of the windows and the transmittance quality of the windows affect the overall uh, lighting value of this um, calculation so if you want to run a calculate a daylighting calculation you need to ask the manufacturer of the windows or the glass uh, what are the specification of the glass the transmittance factors and the reflection factors and yeah so you can get the uh, correct uh, value for this calculation and uh, yeah, you can see that there is enough light for this staircase and so um, what else do we need to discuss here okay we can run a calculation actually we can shift from because we have two light scenes here artificial and daylighting we can shift our calculation from artificial to daylighting okay <clears throat> So, uh, can we double check it? Why oh, it's not rendering? Okay, we need to refresh. Do we need to refresh? There you go. Okay. <clears throat> so, now we have our uh, daylighting calculation for staircase. And if we want to proceed to our lighting calculation report, let's save this one. Go to the export tab and save new view and create maybe one more here on the other side and say save new view and then if you go to the documentation you will have the report for both the artificial lighting and also for the lighting calculation so go to the edit and select the room summary daylight control system let's check this one yes okay so this is the property of the glass and um, where are the results result summary surfaces and 
Okay, so I think this result is for uh, daylighting calculation. Alright, and if you want to add the views, you can go and go to the configure page and add your daylighting calculations. Add and add and back to the images and now you will have your original lighting calculation plus the daylighting calculation report. Okay, I can't find the uh, daylighting calculation report on the summary page. It's only showing the, the artificial. So, but it's, anyway, it's okay because uh, there's a pseudo color to interpret the value for the daylight calculation. calculation. So, go uh, and check the edit again and go to the project cover. You can add maybe something on that one. And maybe you can add a picture on the cover like maybe both the artificial and daylight calculation. Then back to the base view. This will be your cover page. And yeah, and then go to your uh, selected output and check. This is good, looking good. And go to the print and then determine page count. Okay, you can add your logo if you like also. And once the page count has been determined, save as a PDF. And then go to your folder. Daylighting calculation and they will add us daylighting calculation report and then say OK and then yes, open it now. And then once you open it, you can review it now. And once you review and you said it's OK, then you can submit it now to your clients. So, yeah. That's it, and thank you very much for watching. See you again on the next video.